is Sprite Fighter, the show where sprites, well, fight. If you want a better idea on how this series works, then be sure to watch the update video. But for now, let's see what we have for tonight's battle. This battle is between two insane powerhouses who have gone insane. Fleetway Supersonic vs Lana.exe. With that being said, let's go over these characters, starting with Fleetway Supersonic. Fleetway Supersonic is a psychotic demon-like entity who manifested himself out of Sonic's body after he absorbed a dose of evil energy from a negative Chaos Emerald. He has a lot of powerful abilities, including reality warping, teleportation, flight, superhuman strength, superhuman stealth, superhuman steve, near limitless stamina, summoning, blasting beam, and all the other abilities of the original Sonic. This is just scratching the surface of what he's capable of. His most powerful attack is his use of Nega Ergo Kinesis, aka Dark Manipulation. With this, he can manipulate all dark energy and cover the entire universe in darkness. Though this often isn't necessary to use. Fleetway Supersonic's only problem is that he's not a strategist. In fact, he's the absolute opposite. He acts like a wild animal who tends to attack out of blind rage. After all, that is what he is. Now let's discuss Lana.exe. Exeteria Loud, aka Lana.exe, is a fan character designed by Smashing Rewind. He's also the one who requested this matchup. Exteria Loud resides in the Creepypasta and the Loud House universe. Lana.exe is a lost episode cousin of Lana, being a demon human hybrid. She was born in an orphanage and was adopted by Sonic EXE and Sally EXE. She looks like Lana Loud but with black and red eyes. In addition, she also has black horns. Lana.exe is tomboyish, dark, cruel, creepy, and absolutely loves discussing things, just like the regular Lana Loud. Now for her basic abilities, most of them are extremely powerful. These include teleportation, bloody claws, the Kethkalath, mental torture, key manipulation, key blasting, plot manipulation, telepathy, dark and light magic, reality corruption, and reality warping. Now her most powerful attack is her reality warping. Her reality warping is insane. It is at a godly tier level, which means she can literally destroy the Omniverse if she wants to, though this often is not necessary. Even somebody this crazy and this powerful is not without her weaknesses. Just like Fleetway Supersonic, Lana.exe fights out of blind rage and is not a strategist. And despite her incredible feats, she's still susceptible to battlefield removal. But even with battlefield removal, she will be incredibly difficult to put down. Alright, time to see who truly is the definition of insanity. Let's get it on! This is survival mode! Fighting ready! Engage! is Lana.exe. Now Fleetway Supersonic will definitely put up a good fight as he is faster than Lana.exe, but there are two reasons why Lana.exe takes the victory. For starters, Fleetway Supersonic has no way to counter any of Lana.exe's reality warping. As I said earlier, Lana.exe's reality warping is at a godly tier level, which means she can literally destroy the Omniverse if she wants to. That right there is some power that Fleetway Supersonic just can't keep up with. Secondly, Fleetway Supersonic does not have any battlefield removal abilities that could put Lana.exe down for good. Lana.exe is immortal, which means she cannot physically die in the real world. The only way you can beat Lana.exe is if you have some battlefield removing abilities that can dimensionally trap her for eternity. And battlefield removing is something that Fleetway Supersonic can't do. Overall, while Fleetway Supersonic will definitely be a challenge for Lana.exe, there's just no real way Fleetway Supersonic can defeat her without any reality warping battlefield removing abilities. Which means the winner of this battle by default is Lana.exe. Now if you want to see a rematch between regular Lana Loud and Classic Sonic, just like this video, if this video gets 15 likes, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to suggest your own ideas for Sprite Fighter, I would love to take a look at them. And stay tuned as I reveal the next matchup for the next episode. Next time on Sprite Fighter.
that's right everyone, Meta Knight vs. Batman. This is going to be an epic battle and I hope you are all excited for it. With that being said, I will see you all next time.